So hey there guys, this is Ginger from Spark Inc Studio and uh, thank you for tuning in again to our virtual workshop thingies which are little mini workshops um, just some little bite-sized things or a little bit longer as we saw with the sketchbook one the other week um, which we try to upload each Wednesday. This week we're going to be looking at editing to create a mini film using Movie Maker 10 which is free to download on your Windows PC. Now if you are running Windows 7 this may already be on your Windows PC and um, so if you click on the uh, type it search bar and put in Movie Maker hopefully you may have it there if not there may be places online that you can download it fortunately if you're on a Mac for you you're going to be on iMovie which is brilliant anyway um, but we won't be able to help you with that today if you do need some help please leave us a message in the comments and we will try and um, come back to you with any help you need on your Mac Okay, but for today we're going to be doing the Movie Maker, so here we go. So first things first, you need to put in, if you put Movie Maker or Microsoft Movie Maker into Google, this is what will come up, you'll get this list. Now the first one is Move Ave, which is a really, really cool movie sort of editing app and it is really really good um, and I would have recommended this to use and I did do a little video on it and I was intending to pu publish that instead of Movie Maker until I got to export it and then realised that it was full it was going to create a massive watermark the whole way through my film um, which is not really what I wanted so um, it's great if you want to get it. it, it isn't that expensive to buy. Um, this one here, no idea what that is, but you don't need to click on that one because what you want to get down to is this one where it says www.microsoft.com and it says get Movie Maker 10 free. So if you click on there and it will take you off to the Microsoft Scott store and it's asking um, who you are. I'm just going to change my screen view on here so that you can see everything. Um, so it's a stay in United States, be English or go to United Kingdom. So we're going to go to United Kingdom on that one. And then when you get to this bit here, you'll see it's got Microsoft.com at the top. If it hasn't got that at the top, don't download it. Okay, you've got your little padlock. You can click on there, it'll tell you connection is cure, it'll tell you lots of different things. Microsoft using lots of cookies and all the rest of it. Um, and then all you need to do then is click get there and it'll say open Microsoft Store you say yes open Microsoft Store and it'll take you there and that will just do this okay now it's told me that um, I've already got this downloaded but funnily enough it's re-downloading it I'm not sure I shall show why it's doing that I did it did flash up telling me that it was already installed now I'm just wondering if maybe there is a new version of it uh, mine's you know sort of being updated there so that's fine so that gives us a little bit more scope anyway so we can wait for that to download you can click on here it says see details and um, start really try to close and update the app the app can't update when it's open oh, close that one. so okay so we'll just leave that so it was doing some sort of thing that's fine I'll refresh it there we go and it's carrying on now in the background you can see lots of things it's looking amazing you're not going to be able to do all these things because the free version doesn't have everything like that on it when it's all done now you will get a box at the bottom that'll that'll show you the download box and you would need to at that time click on that or click here it will say show show all and you can click on that and it'll take you to downloads and then you can find out your downloads click on your downloads and then you can go through the um, installation process here it just says launch and that's because it's just basically done an update I guess on my PC. This is a screen that you're going to get once you've um, downloaded it. So if you're still downloading it just press pause now on me and then when you finish downloading come back to this video. Okay right so you can do lots of things on here and you can see there's a lot of stuff that you can potentially do, but it's got big padlocks on it, which means you have to buy it to get it to get those. But it will do quite a lot without that. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to create a new project by clicking there. And what will come up is some ads <laughs> with, I don't know, people on or whatever. Um, 
that's because we're downloading for free. Um, you'll just have to put up with those. Um, basically, I don't think there's any way of getting rid of them. Don't click on them, okay, because I don't know where they'll take you. Okay, so when we get onto this page, when it's all opened up, you can see it says Movie Maker 10 at the top. And then down at the bottom, we've got Add Clip, Arrange Clips, Save Project and Save Video. So we're just going to click Add Clip. Um, on the, here, it will say Beginning of Project, End of Project, Current Position, Photo, Video, Credit, Title. So we're going to go for a, we'll go for a photo first and I'm just going to click on here and bring this one in. So this is a little video that we made um, on Autodesk Sketchbook um, with the bird getting the worm. So we're just going to have a look at this. So, there we go. So we're not going to do an awful lot with this. We're going to put a title board in the beginning and we're going to put one at the end and we might just put an effect on it as well. There's not a lot that you can actually do in here except for just put add music and and a few other things just to enhance it up and there's there's lots of different things you can do with cutting up and and doing like um you know sort of focusing in and things like that but we're not going to be doing all those things today we're just going to be looking at making a very very simple video okay so what i'm going to click on first is edit video and what happens when you edit the video you get this coming up on your screen. So you see the video there and you can see a little pull down, pull along timeline there like that. So you've got a bit of fun with that. Um, and on here you'll see lots of other things. Now if you click on here, you'll see that everything's pro app only except for this one. So that's the one that we're going to be using. And um, the volume button for the um, music, if you put music on is there. Frame layout. Um, so you can actually change your frame if you want make it go like that or like that or just straight like that or you can make it look like that now I think it looks quite cool having the bleached out background like that and having your video like that I quite like that so I'm going to keep it like that because it is only a short video I want it to look a little bit interesting um, instead of it just looking you know sort of um, just basic so right this one here says transition on it if you click on there, you'll see there's lots of transition-y things. Now most of them have got padlocks on, except for these couple at the top. Now we might use one of these to go into the um, titles, but at the moment we've not actually got anything to put the transition on. You won't really only ever use a transition if you cut. So if you make a cut and then you can put a transition in to bring the cuts together. So, it, so you could do like an overlap cut or something like that. Um, but we're not actually going to use those at the moment. We might come back to these in a little bit. Photo overlay just means you can put some extra bits in if you want to. Um, I mean, if it's on this, add emotion. So you could add a smiley face if you wanted. You could put one down there if you wanted, I guess. If you did make a, a little photograph to put there, um, now let me see if I can bring something else in instead. So I'm going to click there again. Yeah, it's letting me bring the logo in, Spark Ink. So what I might do is I might actually put that down there in the corner. Now, you can make it bigger. So you could have it like that. Okay, so that that's sort of how that works. So you could actually put like a watermarky type thing in. So I'm going to put that in and leave that in. Just put a little bit too big. I don't want it ginormous like that. We'll just put it like that there. Um, and then we've got a sound overlay. Click on here, select. It'll bring up a list of things that they've already got. But then you can click here and click on browse audio, which is what I'm going to do now. Now I've put mine in my download, so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to pull that one in. And it asks me where I want it to start and finish. So the start time I want at the beginning. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm gonna Okay, so that sounds like right. So if I click on here and play this. Oh, for some reason the music hasn't.
and you click OK. Okay, so there you go. That's that's our bit of music. Now you can tell the music is really, really. Um, there's not much music at all. So what I'm going to do is because I think, well, it might be cool to have this a few times on here. I'm going to actually add another clip. So I'm going to put this one in. Um, I'm going to put it at the end of the project. OK, and I'm going to click photo video. I'm going to get my video again. And it's brought in my clip. Now you can see it's different. So you can see that's one we've just messed about with and this is the new one. So I'm going to mess about with this one. So click on more tools, edit video. I'm going to put the frame layout on first. So if you click on frame layout there, and we're going to do it for the other side this time. So it looks a bit different. Then photo overlay, and this time I'm going to put this down this side. I think it's a little bit bigger than that on the other one. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to click, I'm going to go on sound overlay. Um, I might leave the sound at the moment. I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go back to it and I'm going to take the sound out a bit because at the moment I want the sound to run for the whole of the video okay so I'm gonna go back there so what we've got now is this effect like that and then on the other one like that I don't know what's happened to the watermark because we put that on and it's not seems to have done anything with it but that's fine now the one thing that we can do is put a transition in because we have actually got somewhere to put that transition now so I'm going to find the bit that I need to put it in So stop that one, click on there and I click on the transition and I do, mm -hmm. I do that one instead this time. Okay, so if we run it from the beginning. So can you see that effect? So that's just with a transition. Um, so we've put a transition in this one and then this one. Um, and then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to now add, at the beginning of the project, I'm going to add a title. Okay. And it opens this up when you click on the title. Okay. So what you can see here is colours, lots of colours. Um, and I think if you did have a photo underneath, you'd be able to see the photograph here, so you'd be able to decide where your writing wants to go. But we'll just have a, a background that's just plain, I think, for this. I don't know whether if I click on here, whether it'll... No, it just changed the background, so that's cool. So I quite like that background, actually. So we might add that blue background. So if you click on a colour, it will give you a different colour for your background. OK. Now it says Add Caption, NT Text here. And then there's lots of different things here that we're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to click Add Caption. You can see it comes up there. You click in this box. Um, you need to delete that. Um, and, oh, no you don't. You just you don't make you delete it, that's fine. Um, and you can write whatever you want. You can change this to one that's a little bit more practical in terms of what you want it to look like on your your title board so you could have something like that if you wanted or you could go for something a bit different I'm um, not sure what that one is um, so you might have to nip through them all and just decide which one you like the best and which one expresses the best about your 
your little film that you've made. Okay, I'm going to stick with uh, ink free, I like that one. Now this one here, this makes it bigger and smaller, so I'm going to make it uh, about that big, middle. Um, if you click on here, this will change your text colour, so to make the colour different. So I did that, I make it a colour or whatever colour you sort of fancy you can put on there. And if you think, well, that's not really the shade I want, I would prefer something else, you can just drag this around. It's just similar to what we've done in the other programmes that we've worked in. Okay. It gives you these nice little effects. So I think they are quite cool. So you can do this, grow and turn. I quite like that idea. Oh. Linear gradient, rotate. There's some good ones there. Plain or oh, fade. I like the grow and turn to be honest. I quite like that one. I'm going to try that one. Um, that's your background one, so you can change the colour, but we've already changed the colour. You can make it bold so it's it's stronger to look at. And then this is underlining and italics, so that'll make it italics and that will underline it for you. So we're going to keep it bold and we're going to call this, it's going to be called the, it does make you get rid of that, I thought it did, but so if you get rid of the, the text there where it says add text though, the early bird catches the well, a question mark because actually it doesn't actually catch the worm. Now what I'm going to do here is because I want to move it across and there doesn't, oh it, there does seem to be one, I didn't see that then for a moment. So if you click it here it'll put in the middle and that's what we want so it looks nice like that. Okay so all that's fine, I'm pleased with that so I'm going to click OK. Okay now you can see here it's added it to the front and if I press play, it'll say the other bird catches the worm. Yeah. And then you could decide what you want in this box here. Now I'm thinking about putting the movie on again. Um, but I'm thinking about putting it in the middle. So what I'm thinking about doing is this. So I'm thinking about putting it there. I'll press stop and then I'm going to put add clip and current position. Photo and video. I'll bring the video in and it should, oh it didn't, it put it to the beginning. I didn't want it in the beginning. I wanted it actually in the middle there. So what it says here is arrange clip. So I'm going to click on there and it asks me what I want to do. So I'm just going to drag that one and move it like that. So now I've got them exactly where I want them. I'm going to press save. And now you can see I've got my clips where I want them. So this one here, I'm going to go back to my tools. And I'm going to click on enhance video. And click on effect. Oops, there's that. That's not the one I want. Well, I might have a quick look at that. All right, so that gives you that nice bright look. I quite like that one. Let's look at that. <laughs> but it didn't really make sense in the video that we're making, but I just thought I'd have a quick look at that. Um, okay, uh, it doesn't seem to have got rid of the effect for some reason. I'm going to go with the uh, sepia one instead. I don't know why it's done that, why it's burnt out. So I'll just cancel it and go back. Okay, so enhance video. That's it. So I'm going to click on add effect. I'm going to go with the sepia one. Oh, wow, that looks like evening. I quite like it. You can make it brown, you can make it darker. That's good. Save. Okay, so what we've got now, and then what we need is actually a transition there as well. So I'm going to put a new transition and put smooth blur. 
Okay, so let's see what all that looks like. Okay, so I quite like um, having this, this one here. And I think I'd like to copy that and have that one there as well. So I'm going to add clip and then I'm just going to put end of project and I'm going to click on photo video and I'm going to add that one again and you see it's added it to the end and then I'm going to click on more tools enhance video add effect and I'm going to go with the sepia again there because I quite like that save that one so it looks like now we've got two days we've got day one and day two Okay, so quite like that. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning of the video and press play. Okay, so one thing I haven't done is put a transition in there, so I'm just going to click a click transition in there. I'll go with that smooth blur again on that one. And then the last thing that I need to do now, well, this isn't the last thing, this is the second to last thing. I need to um, add another clip, but this time what I'm going to be doing is end of project and I'm going to be putting credit. Okay. Now, this is different because what it's going to do, hopefully, is do like a rolling credit for us. Um, so we're going to go with, try and go with that colour I went with originally, that's the one. Um, and this is the, oops, those are the fonts that we can use. Oh wow, look at these, these are a bit flashy. Wow. Can we can do? I like that one. Okay. And then, I don't know whether that will have done that for me or not. Put Creative Juicy Movie Maker 10. Animation created in Autodesk. Sketchbook. And then you do that. If you just press enter, you'll see it moving up like this. I'm just going to put boost at Sparky Link Studio and then I'm going to put MMXX which means 2020. Okay so let's see what that one looks like. We could actually make these bigger which I will because I think oh, we need to make them bigger to the top. And then we'll play it. Oh, that's okay. We'll see what that looks like when we get to the end. And that will probably look. Shouldn't that font wasn't on the original. Oh, they see. Right, how fast did that go? That's cr crazily fast. If you click on it again, left click on it, and then edit credits. Okay, so duration in seconds. I mean, the whole movie is quite fast, so we, we need it to go a little bit slower than that. Otherwise, people are not going to be able to read it. So let's go with 30 and see what that looks like. Okay. So let's press play. And that's better. Okay, they're quite cool, those actually. I like those. They're really nice credits. And this is the thing, you might use other softwares to do your editing. Um, I use Premiere Pro a lot, but to do one of these rolling um, credit screens on Premiere Pro takes a little bit of time. This does it really well. 
and it might be that I might start doing my credits on here and then actually exporting them to Premiere Pro to use in there. So lots of tools you can overlap with and if you find something that works really well with you on something else, on another piece of software, but you don't find everything on that software that you need, then give it a try. Give it a try doing the bit you need in that software, exporting it and putting it into the software that you need. Um, and that way, sometimes it, it works out really, really well. So the only thing that with that is that, that there was a massively long gap <laughs> between those um, these credits. So what I'm gonna do is they're too far away. So I'm gonna go up a bit. Because that was just really way too long. Okay. And I think we could probably go down a little bit. Up to there, like that. Now press OK. It still looks pretty good. I mean, we could actually still make it slightly bigger uh, as well if we wanted, but I think that looks fine. I really do like that font, actually. I think that font is really cool. I like that. Just want to get colour and colour it in. That's really good. Okay, so that's the end credits on there. So I'm pleased with that. I'm going to play the whole lot from the beginning. Yeah, let's just edit these as well. I'm sure, you know, it would be so cool if we had that font for the beginning. I can't understand why there's no font at the beginning. Like that, that font was so cool. So do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to get rid of that one. So I'm going to arrange clips. That one there, how do I delete it? If you click on it and delete it like that. Would you like to delete these clips? Yes. Okay. Click save. So I've got rid of that front clip. Now what I'm going to do instead, because I like this font, I want to use that on the beginning. Okay, so the way to do it, add clip, put beginning of project and then put credit like that. And then when you put credit, you'll open this one up again, the same as the end one. Go for that colour. We'll, uh, Bring that up to about, about 100 things, something like that. And then if you click on here, you're able to get the one that you had, which was the comic candy. Okay. And you can make this longer. And then we can add the text here. So we called it the early number two third always okay question mark now what I want is I want to get make just parts of this bigger I don't know whether it'll let me just make one word bigger it won't it'll, it'll have just the whole lot that's fine um right I'm going to change the font color now I had orange before I'm going to go for a different color this one. Oh, I like green. That looks good. Go with that green, that looks okay. Like that one. Okay. So now what we've got is we've got matching fonts on the beginning and the end. They will roll, which is fine. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah, I like that. That does look a lot better than the other one. Oh yes, that's cool. Okay, so question there. Da, da, da. You didn't catch the worm. Evening, didn't catch the worm. Daytime, didn't catch the worm. <laughs> didn't catch the worm. And then we just put that like, created using Movie Maker 10, animation creative noted, our sketchbook, and then produced Sparky Ink Studio, which is there. And the uh, Roman letters for 2020. So that's cool. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so what I need to do now is put some music on here. Um, so this is the thing that we need to do. So I'm going to click Save Project so I don't mess anything up. Project is not available. Oh, you can't save your project. Oh, wow. You can't even save your project. And that's crazy. 
Okay, well we don't want to save it as a video yet, so um, we'll just go and we'll put some music on. Okay, so just going to work. Edit soundtrack. Okay, so if you click edit soundtrack, it brings up this. It says insert music or a voiceover. You've got play, you've got zoom in, zoom out. And you can see this bottom bit here is exactly where you need it. Now from what I can see, it looks like you can only have one channel. Now, what I mean by one channel is that you can only have one piece of music and so you can't overlap things, which is a bit unfortunate um, because you can actually overlap things even in um, iMovie on the iPad. So it's a little bit um, sim sort of simplistic in, in this way. Um, but then it does say here, click to set cursor, double click to select audio section. Does that give us another audio section? It don't look like it does, no. So it looks like we only get one channel, so we can only bring one piece of music in. And that's fine. So we're going to click insert music and we're going to put current per cursor position um, and we're going to go for a local music file, which means on your PC somewhere. Okay, and we pick this one up in the uh, downloads, which I got off YouTube. As you can see, it's fairly funky. Okay, so if we then play, it starts coming together. Yes, it's not showing you the effects, it's just showing you I like cool music, I really like it, I just like it. You know, shuffling around, dancing while you're doing your editing. So yeah, so that's really cool, so I like that. Uh, so I'm going to stop there, because we know that we're going to go to the end of the clip. Um, so when we get here, we need to do some sort of trimming on there. Um, so I'm going to pull it slightly out a little bit more because I don't really like to, I usually like to have a little bit of a black frame at the end to fade. And also if you're on YouTube and you're putting things on YouTube, always leave a little bit of a black frame at the end because YouTube lets you put um, your thing what people can click on for subscribing or to look on your other playlist, things like that. So it's always good to leave a little bit of a black margin at the end. Okay. So I'm going to trim there, okay, I think that's how you do it, is that right? Yeah, and then you just drag it across like that, and then you just trim and it takes it off. So did you see how I did that? I moved this to where I wanted it to be, I then clicked on it, I clicked trim, click trim and then it gave me the possibility of being able to move it like that and then when I moved it and I've decided where we're going to go I just click trim again and it just cuts it off all together. Now it does have an effect here um, and that's something that I'm interested in because I think it's always good if you can fade your music out properly. So I'm going to click there and then I'm going to click effect and I'm going to put fade out like that okay so that means now what should happen is that should fade out for me okay so well i guess we'll find out if that happens for some reason it's not done it i don't know undo let's undo undo right okay let's get rid of that one that's it right effect fade out Yeah, from there. Fade out. Okay, that should work, hopefully. I hope. Let's see if that works. There you go, so you could hear that it faded out, so that's really cool. So I'm pleased with that. Okay, so we've done all that. There's nothing on there that says save or anything like that, so. Um, I mean this zoom in and zoom out, this is if you put in a sound effect in, you might need to zoom in a little bit closer so that you can actually see exactly what it is you're wanting to look at. 
All right. So you see how it makes the frames bigger. Okay, but we're going to click back. Okay. Now, the one thing that I noticed there when I was um, looking at this is that we need to actually put a credit in for the actual music um, because we need to always make sure, even if it's free music or it's just something you made or somebody else, somebody else you know that made it, you need to still credit them into things, all right? Always give people that credit for something that they've made or they've done. Okay, I didn't actually put myself on this and I probably should do, so I'm going to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to click on there and I'm going to create edit credit. Now I need to know exactly who made the music for me to actually be able to write in where it is. So if you go into your file, you should be able to find it. And if you click, if you right click on it, I don't know if you can see this, let me just have a... Okay, so if you go to the file, um, this is on recent files, and you click, you right click on it and click properties, it should bring up where you got it from, um, and it should say the details. Now it doesn't, so the person that's done it hasn't actually put any of their full details in there which means you need to go back then and find out where you got it from okay but the one thing we do know is what it's called so I'm gonna copy that by clicking ctrl and c and then just okay but I've got this little bit of information so I'm gonna put that in there hillbilly hologram as you can see for some reason it hasn't come up there I don't know where that is bye um, and I'm gonna just snip into my YouTube account. And I'll have a quick look at who made that. So there's the called the whole other. That's who they are. So and it says you're free to use this video in any of, any of your videos, so that's fine. So the all the whole other. So we're gonna put them on. Right. The whole other. Um okay. And then underneath that I'm gonna put um free to use from YouTube library okay now if, if you're making something that is um, a video that you you want to make sure that everything on there is yours that you own it and everything in there is yours that nobody else can monetize on your video or anything like that you need to ensure that you use your own music or you buy music if you use free music in anything, there's always a possibility that sometimes the person that's made that free originally could decide they're gonna start selling it and monetizing it, which means that your video will then come up for monetization for them for their copyright. So this is something that you need to be aware of when using other people's music. Um, same with other people's photographs or clips, things like that. Always need to make sure you put them into your titles. Always need to be aware that if you use somebody else's stuff, not all that, not the whole thing that you've made belongs to you so if you want it to belong to you make sure you use all your own stuff make sure it's all yours okay um the other thing you can do is you can screenshot what you use on free music from um, youtube put it in the file with your video in the folder with your video and then you've got that as proof then that it was free at the time that you used it okay so that's that little bit there And some reason it's not, it won't let me use the brackets. So I'm just going to take the brackets out because it just looks daft. Okay, right then. But that is nice, too close to there. So I'm going to click on there. And I'm going to put on this bit here. I'm going to go further up to the top. And I'm going to rearrange a few things because to be fair, I decided I want to move that one so I'm gonna copy that one and I'm gonna put that further down put that there and I'm gonna click on there click on there again and then the top one now I'm gonna put instead animated by Indra oops I've spelled animated wrong and this is the other thing you need to do is always make sure that you make your spellings right 
okay now when i've clicked on there it doesn't even uh, you don't know what i'm talking about it's telling me do i want minted well no i don't i want animated okay so animated by ginger okay oh, bit of space there okay then so that's looking pretty cool i'm gonna click okay there so what we've got so far then is we've got a an opening credit an end credit We've got some action going on in the video. We've used a few different effects on there just to make it look a bit more interesting. And we've also put some music on and that's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to press play and watch it from the beginning and see if this works what I want. I think the music's really catchy. Okay, now the one last thing that I saw on here is I've put created using Movie Maker 10. Now, I didn't create it using Movie Maker 10. I actually edited using Movie Maker 10. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to change that created and put edited. Okay. And that'll make it... Oh, I've spelled edited wrong. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when you spell stuff wrong? Oh, especially when you got a degree in English. That's uh, not very good. Okay, then, so I think that looks all really cool for that. So I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with everything else. I'm, I'm sort of wondering whether I ought to put some captions on here or something, but I don't know. I think it looks it looks okay as it is. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. So what I'm going to do now is I am now going to save the video. So you click save video. It says warning, do you want to save current project? So you put yes. Now when it says that, it says this alarming really thing then that you think, oh no, I've made a video that I can't do anything with. Don't click buy now, click maybe later. What it's just telling you here is that you can't save the project and we know that because we tried to click, click save project earlier on so we're going to click maybe later then it'll bring up your movie output options and that's the bit that we wanted okay now it's only given us a few little options it will only give us an hd 720 which is a lot lower than what um youtube is youtube is uh, 1080p so we we're going to be lower but that's okay should be fine so we're going to click that one it won't let us click this one and it well it will let us but we're not on a pro version so we'll click that one we're going to go on an mp4 P, mp4 format you can click this one if you want to um but then you might need to convert it later on so you're better off just going for the mp4 which is the easiest it says hardware encoder for the best performance hybrid encoder recommended software encoder best compatibility now, depending on what your PC is doing, it's difficult to decide which one might be the best one to use. The software encoder here will go for the best compatibility that you've got on your PC. So you will already have something on your PC that helps you encode things. Um, so that'll work with your PC. So if it's struggling on any of these, then you can go for that one. Now I'm gonna go for this one because this PC that I'm on should be able to do that easy as anything. Let's see what we think. Um, bit rate eight megabytes per second, and the file size is less than forty nine megabytes. So, and you can mess about with this if you want to, if you really want to mess about. But when you go up and down, it goes to pro version. So, you're sort of limited where you're going to do it. So you're going to have to go with the forty nine one. Okay. So I'm just going to click make movie. Make the movie. It's going to want to put in my videos, but I don't want it in my videos. I'm going to put it in my folder that I've got especially for this. Um, so my folder, put that in there. Okay, save that. And it just said it was called output. Now I should have changed that and, and made it 
into a different title before I press and go for it, but I didn't. So it's included video now, as you can see, you've got some percentage rate going on there on, on there. So as you can see, that's what's happening at the moment. I'm just waiting for that to finish. 